context diagram example email now we're going to look at an example of a context diagram used specifically for the scenario of an email server so basically an email server is allows users to connect to it check their emails uh, delete emails send emails and so we want to incorporate that into an actual context diagram now this is going to be a very simple overview in order to introduce you to context diagrams so when we approach how we draw a context diagram the first thing we usually draw is the single process in the middle that represents the entire information system and you may derive this from whether you're being asked in an assessment or an examination scenario there'll be some sort of keyword that tells you about the information system in this case it's email so it will be email server information system okay and that's how you do it what's the key word and put information system after it i find is the best way to approach making your process in a context diagram now next we've got to think is our external entities and one external entity that we're sure of is the user themselves okay and they're going to be wanting to access the email server so what kinds of things do they put into the email server we'll represent this with a flow line Okay, they need to enter in their email address and their password to get into the actual email server and then they can begin typing up a message. Now, if they're writing a message, that's obviously intended to go to a recipient. So, a flow line out of the email server information system would go to a recipient, okay, and they'd be receiving that message. Okay, now obviously we can go deeper into this and we could say then the recipient can reply and all that. Okay, but for now we'll just keep it focused this way because we're focusing on this single email server here. The other thing we've got to think about too is what does the user get out of this information system? Okay, because they're obviously entering data in, but do they get any information back out? Well, yes, of course. Okay, they'd be getting two things simply out of this information system. Okay, that would be confirmation of their email when they've sent it to a recipient. And the other thing is checking their own emails. Okay, to be able to go through their own emails and obviously then forward them, delete them, or whatever. Okay, and that's what they're getting out of the information system. So I hope this helps you understand the importance of context diagrams. In kind of having an overview of how a system works, we can see what the system is, we can see who are the external bodies that access this system, what data they're putting into the system, and what information they're getting out of the system. We're going to use this as the basis for our next video in which we're going to look at the same scenario once again of an email server, but from the view of a data flow diagram.